difference. Yeah, mate. So they use the Mercury 12-inch midsection. The 12-inch midsection is a bit between the power head and the gearbox. Um, and uh, it's actually adjustable. So you, not only can you trim the engine in and out, you can also raise and lower the engine height on these, these particular boats. You've got a hydraulic ram that can raise and lower the engine. So they're quite a sophisticated bit of gear. These guys run uh, Mark 4s and Mark 6 gearboxes. Um, so it uh, just depends on what they want to run and, and uh, what they think's best for what track and, and longevity as well. So if somebody's being left right behind here. There's two boats that are still trying to catch up. Yeah, the this one of is them uh, is Stunnel. So we've still got white flag condition. Now he lets them go. Yeah, he didn't want uh, didn't want that boat uh, to run Ryan Stunnel to run the start. So he actually held them all up a little bit and left them a little bit longer and made them hang on. So race starts in earnest now as we fire away and our pole man firing down the front chute is going to be the Cracker Racing Machine. So Adam Breen leading Reese Coles back to Jared Smith. Then it's uh, Ryan Stunnel. Back to Adam Smith and out the back door at the moment, Cooper Bronstein. Yeah, our leader already starting to gather at 100 metres from Breen. And then we go back to Adam Smith and Co Ryan Stunnel. And uh, Adam Smith now making a charge towards the back end of Ryan Stunnel's boat as they head down into turn number two. But it's all this boat out in front, doing it well for Cracker Racing. Gee, I tell you what, he is absolutely hard at it in the Cracker Racing machine, Adam Breen. Back to Reese because oh, Jared Smith flies the boat. That got a little bit loose there. Now we see uh, Ryan Stunnel come through on the outside. Adam Smith on the inside of him. And Cooper Bronstein with all sorts of drama, mate. Very slow down the back chute. Yeah, he certainly is as our leaders are already starting to go past him now. But I've noticed that uh, Jared Smith is really flying the boat very high in the front. Where if we have a look at the boat coming past us now, nice and flat across the top of the water, not porpoising. Yellow flag comes out, mate. One lap to go and... 100% right. Reese Coles, a little bit off the pace to what I would have expected for Reese there. Jared Smith having a real look at Reese at the moment in the Butler Vehicles machine as they head up into the top turn. Then Ryan Stunnel comes through on the inside. Adam Smith just trying to run that inside line. But, and uh, yeah, Cooper Bronstein, it's all over for him. He's got all sorts of drama there as he brings the bandit machine through. But race leader, and let's call it uh, Vaughan. Uh, it'll be Adam Breen in Cracker Racing takes out a well-deserved win as we see the Butler Vehicles car, uh, boat coming across the line now. And we wait for Adam, uh, Jared Smith in S17. He goes across the line in third position. So Reese Carl's picking up second there. Then we've got uh, Ryan Stunnel oh. will come through. And on the outside of him, Adam drops to the outside, Adam Smith. And it picks up or rounds out the field. And unfortunately, Cooper Bronstein uh, will head back to the pit.